All right, everybody. I know I said I didn't like this story, but I decided, you know what? High School Tomy deserves another chance. So I'm going to be playing it again, and we're going to see if the story actually gets better. So everybody buckle up. This may or may not be a long one. And if I don't play it again after this, then uh, you know what happened. So it's where we left off last time. Uh, it's been two months since those incidents. I'm still thinking about how I ever came to shout at my own grandma because I regret it now. A few days after that, I felt really bad about it. I saved up my allowance. I don't have to ask her for money for a long time. I eat dinner really fast and come home just in time for it so we don't talk much. There wasn't anything I could do because despite how I felt, I didn't want to take it back. It was the first time I ever told her how I felt, not just in the way I would have wanted. And yet here I am, miserably tapping my fingers to a unique pattern only I know of. School went by like nothing happened, and I'm confident of getting at least 15 uh, items correct after everything we learned about. Combined, it's still nothing close to a passing grade. Ugh. Not only is the situation at home frustrating, but also my current standing. Oh, hold on, sorry. I'll... I forgot to explain to you, like, um, I think the reason I didn't like the story at first was because I guess it was kind of a serious topic, and in visual novels, I'm not too used to that, so that may be the main reason. Also, I would say, um, <laughs> I think Mike as well was like kind of sus, <laughs> especially like um when he said like oh I just told the PE teacher that you got banged and now you're pregnant <laughs> and then like in my head like during that th that scene I was like hold on how old is she again <laughs> this is uh probably something you shouldn't put but hey like not too or we shouldn't really uh, nitpick over too many details you know so <laughs> yeah and Isaac I guess things are better just a little. He's not surprised with me barging right into their classroom every now and then, which is an achievement within itself. However, I cannot take my mind off Super Cool 999, my online nemesis. Oh yeah, that dude. Truth be told, I'm growing no more uh, nervous as the days pass. It's been two freaking months, which means I only have one more before this whole bet is over. I'm risking my reputation here. Half of my life has always been about Shadow Guardians. I can't imagine leaving. On top of that, I have my grandma to worry about, Isaac to win over. I'm going crazy at this rate. Uh, help me. Oh. Sabrina! <laughs> if you wish to tap your fingers in such an annoying manner, then do it silently. Your table is not a drum set, and you are directly in front of my table. <laughs> it's distracting me from my lesson. <laughs> oh. Don't mean to sigh. As the teacher turned her back to us, I felt a small piece of paper hit my head. Went to my side. I immediately know who did it from the slight look on his face. Oh, it's Tom. <laughs> What's up, man? Anyway, pick it up. Ugh. I frowned but refrained from doing what he ordered. What does he think he is to boss me around anyway? Look back at him, facing his cold glare with one of mine. He thinks he's the only person who has eyes to do that. <laughs> I'm not in the best mood right now, so he should probably back off. <laughs> Takes a minute before Tom sighs in defeat, withdrawing his gaze. And going back to sleep. I turn my attention back to the teacher, hoping that this day can end faster. If anything, I would be really devastated to know that Super Cool 999 is Tom, making anybody but him or Mike. Jared would never do such a thing, surely. <laughs> you can't trust anybody in this game, but surely Jared is actually a good one. <laughs> um, Isaac doesn't even have any idea what that game is. All he pays attention to is art, music, poetry. You know the rest. Seriously, I can't wait for this day to be over. <laughs> Our end? Okay, back in the hallway. <laughs> what you gonna do now? Finally! <laughs> I just wanna go home, clear my head and get a good amount of sleep. Hey, it's a buzz. Oh, it says, Are you free? I'm going to call you in a minute. Just turn off your phone if the timing is inconvenient. From Isaac. Hey, yo! Hey! My man's. <laughs> this guy really is something. How can you be adorable and naive at the same time? Ugh, this cute face doesn't help either. Wait, uh, no. Don't fall for it, Sabrina. Isaac's not cute. He's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Right. He's sus. Everybody's sus. Trust no one. Uh, I'm going crazy. And then ring ring. Hello. Hey, what's up? What's down? This is actually the first time you've called me. I guess that is, in a way, a big achievement for me. Maybe it's time I stop treating Isaac as a prize and start thinking of him as a friend. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Uh, anyway, he's done an amazing job at listening to me so far. And I can just talk to him about anything, because I know I have nothing to lose when it comes to him. I'll say. 
Calls are nice, I guess. I have to call somebody now. <laughs> anyway, can you meet me at the rooftop? Ooh, this is interesting. The rooftop? Oh, now? Uh, yeah, I have something to show you. <laughs> okay. Right, see ya. As it cuts the call almost immediately after that, and I find the urge to bring myself 10 flights up to the roof. <laughs> if it wasn't for Isaac and Alhafi, he, he sounded just now, I'd ditch whatever this is. It better be worth it. You know what, let's see what it is. I'm a little intrigued. What did you want to show me? Hi, how are you? Ah, you're here. Hmm, he gestures for me to take a seat towards him, and that's when I realize that he's been waiting earnestly for me, with a smile. He has a compact mat laid out for us to sit on, which is quite nice. I guess he put some thought into this and I'm thankful for that. Turning to face him, I realize that the warm sunlight from the sun makes his azure eyes shine brighter. This is the first time I've seen his... or I've admired his beautiful orbs. <laughs> ah, he's the painting I made. What do you think? It took me two months to finish this, so I hope it looks as great as I think it does. I am speechless. This girl was showing me a magnificent painting that consists of the silhouettes of a man and woman by the beach watching the sunset together. She resembles my mother a lot, and talking to her makes me miss her. She's fierce, outspoken, a great leader, but at the same time, she's not everything she wishes to be. Quoting in the image of a tough woman, who stops at nothing to get what she wants, it's a fragile heart waiting to be loved. That's my memory of her. As the only child in the family, I've always carried the burden of being the best student and son they can ever have. I love my parents so much. The simple yet heartwarming story behind this beautiful painting is just as charming as the portrait itself. Can I see what it looks like? I kinda- I'm curious. <laughs> anyway, the more I stare, the better it becomes. You can spot the small, intricate details that make up, uh, one big picture. Obviously, he pondered on the concept for this painting and the execution is seamless. It makes you feel something, and that's art. <laughs> you know it. If only I had the same memory of my grandma, life wouldn't be as miserable after mother's death. Grandma's the only family I have left, but it seems I would be better off alone at this point. Are you okay? Ah, I'm fine. No, you're Sabrina. <laughs> Your painting is gorgeous, Isaac. I didn't know you had this talent. It makes me feel something, and that's a warm feeling. I wish I had that image of my uh, grandma too. I think you and your grandma are very similar to each other, and that's why it is hard for the both of you to come together. I guess. You've been on that least so, that can't be the only reason. Very observant, I'll give you that. It's... Oh. <laughs> I end up telling Isaac everything about Super Cool 999 and the bet we have. He listens intently to every single word I say, not breaking eye contact for a second. It's really easy for me to tell Isaac just about everything, including stuff I can't even talk about with Jared. Something about him just makes it really easy to open up. To top it all, the comfort of knowing that somebody's there to listen to whatever you have to say, with no ulterior motives or intentions, is probably the best feeling next to love. Uh oh, why do you let him get to you? I'm sorry? It's clear that he's playing with you, Sabrina. You're braver than any student I know. In fact, you're much braver than I ever will be. Yeah, <laughs> boy. This guy, we're not even sure he knows significant info about you or not. But, but, but if he does, he can destroy my online life. I don't want to be burdened by more stress. Uh, I can't afford having another reason to be scolded by grandma. I'm tired. We all get tired. As a matter of fact, I believe I've always been tired. I never had the urge to listen to anybody. Not to tell you, kind. Hey, yo. <laughs> you didn't give up on me, so I'm not gonna be here for as long as I can, whether you like it or not. Isaac? Oh, man, so dreamy. <laughs> uh, unlike that person, I will always be here for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for opening up to me and letting me in. Isaac is no longer a prize. He is a friend, yo, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Somebody who's just trying his best to understand me despite our differences. That's just the perfect person I can ask for at this point in time. Can I walk you home? I don't mind. Let's grab some donuts as we go. I owe you a few for the first time. Your formerly came up to me at the fountain square. You still think of that? But of course. I mean, I look like it, but I'm a man, you know? <laughs> some man you are. Let's go. Oh, oh, let's go. <laughs> Alright, now we're back here. It's finally the weekend, and I've had some time for myself amidst everything that's been happening around me. This morning, I spent a few hours studying for the upcoming exam, which has earned me five bonus points to my final score. I've done a great job, and I can't stop now. Making my way to the fridge to find some food for dinner, a certain sticky note catches my eye. Right. Today is the day before the 
Ultimate Everblaze Duo Tournament between the top 16 players, I know just who I will be facing at the championships. I have to prepare myself for a bloody battle tomorrow, if I don't want to humiliate myself any further. Isaac is right. I can't let that dude get to me. I'm not afraid of him. I'm not afraid of anyone. Stop the cow. Similarly, another sticky note catches my attention. It's not written in my handwriting, however, and I haven't seen it before. Oh, I'm leaving for my regular checkup. Just find yourself some food with the money I left. Grandma. Oh, so it's time for that. I feel a little bad not knowing anything about Grandma's condition, but we rarely talk these days. I've been avoiding her gaze in every conversation at every chance I get. It's probably the best for the two of us. Oh, buzz buzz. Who is it? I'm calling. Who though? Oh, from Isaac. Okay. <laughs> I find it funny how Isaac sends me a text message before calling every single time. Hey man, you just gotta make sure it's actually convenient, <laughs> remember? I've gotten used to it, but Isaac must be- or Isaac must be richer than I thought. He wastes credits before every call. <laughs> That's something. Wow. You know what? No, true, true. Alright, ring ring. Hey, are you doing anything today? Save me from boredom, please. I can't stay here any longer. I thought so. Meet me at the park. I have a lot of things to tell you. Sounds good to me. It's time you share your part of the play. I hang up reaching for the shower as best as I can. As soon as I finish preparing myself, I head to the park with a wide smile. Alright, Isaac. Oh, there he is. Hi there. Hey, soda? Isaac offers a can of soda just for me to take a seat next to him on the park bench. I gracefully accept the can before popping it open. The gentle sound of fizzing bubbles is uh, always a sweet sensation. <laughs> Did you wait for long? No, I just called here. So, what have you been up to? I've been studying. That's great. Oh, wait. The, the sudden silence, uh, wait, so let's see, anyway, so, um, I know basically everything there is to know about you now, so I think that it's time you get to know my family, through my perspective as well. You put a lot of thought into this, didn't you? Frankly speaking, yes. Alright, the music went silent, this can't be good. <laughs> Alright, so he says, um, I'm going to tell you the complete truth, please bear with me. I've never shared this to anybody before. You've always been there for me when I needed somebody, so, I'm all ears. Here it goes. As you know, I came from the UK before flying all the way here to attend high school. You might be confused about that since there are better schools in the UK if we compare. My mother, this is her hometown. That's why this place reminds Isaac of his mother. <laughs> I was born in England. My parents have a stable job there and we live a happy life together. I'm their only son, so I enjoyed the luxury that went with it. Despite that, I... I was bullied in middle school. My classmates used to discriminate me for being different in everything. I looked different from the rest of them. My blue hair, my figure, my height. And I always felt out of place because I love things that are not expected from a middle school student. I used to stay in the farthest corner of the room, writing songs and drawing stuff while the teacher was not paying attention. Little by little I became immersed in my own world and learned to neglect the people around me. That's the reason he's been so aloof since he got here. I never knew that he was hurting. I really am self-centered and selfish. I first thought of him as a prize that I can brag about, but I've never taken into account what made him like this in the first place. I probably am as bad as my grandma says, and not when it happened. One day, my parents found out about this, and they were not happy with my performance. I always wanted to impress them, and I excelled academically, but I was not the normal kid. I was far from my peers, and my parents thought that it was abnormal. He thought it wasn't something to brag about. <laughs> That hurt, but I let it go because I love them. My mother decided that it would be best for me to study in her hometown. Nobody stays me from my appearance ever since I came here because my mother's lineage uh my mother's lineage all shares my features. Okay, you know what? I can't do the British accent while I read this, everybody. It's also getting serious, so yeah, anyway. So she claims that getting to know more about the place she came from will make me grow as an individual, and she thinks that it's the perfect place for me. However, it was hard to open up about my past, somewhere at the back of my mind. I still feared the history would repeat itself. But I was wrong. I found you here, and that changed me a lot. I learned to trust people again, and for once, I felt like a normal high sc schooler. Um, I guess mom's right. This is the best place to be. Oh, I never knew you were hurting. It's all in the past now. I'm glad I came here, because this is just the right place for me. Isaac and I spent the rest of the afternoon talking about anything under the sun, and now it was easier for the both of us to communicate seamlessly. Isaac opened up more than ever, and I appreciate all his efforts. Alright, there we go. Oh, we're almost there. Today is the day of the ultimate Everblades duel, and I'm making sure that I exert the best efforts to win. Oh, here we go. So, the moments I shared with Isaac yesterday refreshed my mind. 
and I am now more determined than ever to crush this baka hidden behind the comforts of his computer screen. <laughs> yeah, boy. The first step to do that is to convince Jared to play with me and stay beside me during the battle. Ah, oh, yeah, Jared. Yeah, I'm a genius, yo. Oh. <laughs> However, it's still 6 a.m. I'm not sure whether Jared is a night person or a day person. Or a caffeine person. I mean, fine. I should know, but that's too much, don't you think? Oh, wait. A free additional cup of coffee for every cup that you buy. Promo last today only. Did I get some coffee or not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> wouldn't hurt. Yeah, so it wouldn't hurt to get a cup of coffee as a peace offering for waking him up and barging right into his house this early. <laughs> Be like, boom. Hey, Jared. Wake the fuck up. We have a tournament. <laughs> anyway, I stopped by to buy myself and Jared a cup of coffee before heading straight to his house. I'll have no problem getting in because his mother knows me well. I'm really lucky to have Jared as my best friend. Hell yeah. Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, S Sabrina. <laughs> a few minutes later, I'm standing in front of the door to Jared's very own room. He lets me in with white eyes and I hand him his cup of coffee. <laughs> did I wake you up? Sure did. What's the rush? Thanks for the coffee, by the way. I don't know what I'd do without my coffee. I would thought it would be right after barging in this early. <laughs> I mean, it is 6 a.m., as she said. We enjoy a few minutes of talking to each other before I tell Jared my real purpose for coming over. Despite the disbelief written all over his face, he tries his best to help me with it. And how's that gonna go? Oh, what the hell just happened? Uh, you never believed me, did you? Should be over at your boyfriend's house instead of mine. Huh? Wait, what? Isaac is not my boyfriend. <laughs> and I never said- Oh, wait, and I never said anything, lady. S still, this is... I won. For the first time against Super Cool 999, I won! Yeah, Sabrina, clap it up. Alright, anyway. I finally won! I won! Let's go! <laughs> yeah, and you owe me big time for this. <laughs> I can't believe this! I won! I'm a winner! Anyway, you have a new message. You may have won this round, but it's not the end. Wait, and you know that. <laughs> well, I'll be keeping first place until you beat me, bro. Yeah, come take it from me, huh? Come on. You know what I do? 1v1 me at high noon. Oh, where did your ego fly to? Did I crush it? You wish. You just got lucky, and you want new strategies. Jared winks at me as we read the chat together. This duel doesn't change anything about our agreement, and you know that. What agreement? Uh-oh. Oh, Jared! Uh, wait, I have to go down for a while. Bye, have a great Jared time. leaves the room and I take a deep breath in relief. He doesn't need to notice, at least for now. I have to deal with the mess I made. Well, why don't you reveal yourself instead of hiding behind that pathetic loser of a computer? <laughs> oh, where's the fun in that? You'll know who I am in the future, as the right time will come. For now, just focus on figuring out who I am before this month ends, or that means goodbye. It will mean goodbye to you! Yeah, Sabrina, you tell him. Come on. Oh, really now? I don't think so. You're not getting any closer to me as each day comes by. I guess you're not as clever as I thought you would be. Take that back! <laughs> well, I have more important matters to deal with, so I must go. Talk to you later, when you finally figure out who I am. Oh, right. That day won't come, so I guess I'm never talking to you again. In that case, goodbye in advance. <laughs> You gotta insert the evil laugh. And he has logged out. <laughs> Ugh, I hate his guts. Well, this bitch. <laughs> anyway. I'm back. What happened? Nothing. I ended up spending the rest of the day with Jared, playing lots of other games, and taking math drills for fun. Regardless, I can't stop myself from thinking about that bet. And at the same time, what would Isaac do if he was in my place? I would bet he would just like, <laughs> he would just brush it off. Be like, I mean, look, in the end, it's just a game. Although the information revealing part is pretty concerning, though, I will admit. So yeah, I'm in the process of taking my phone to check if there's any messages. Receive one from an unknown number. I've been here for the past five hours. I hope nothing serious has happened. Text message. Is this Sabrina's number? I am a nurse from the hospital where your grandmother is currently admitted. Uh-oh. This can't be good. <laughs> yeah, unknown number. What the? Fuck? Grandma's admitted to the hospital? How did that happen? Oh, text message. I'm heading there immediately. Yeah, from Sabrina. <laughs> uh... Jared, I have to go. Well, why so sudden? I just received a text from the hospital that Grandma just got admitted. I have no way of knowing what happened until I got there. Or, I mean, until I get there, sorry. Uh, let me come with you. No, it'll be faster if I go alone. Hospital's not far from your house. I'll just run. 
Oh, your mom thanks, and I love the steak she made for lunch. Before Jared can protest any further, I sprint towards the front door. Alright, I think <laughs> we know where this leads. Uh, I managed to arrive at the hospital in 10 minutes, despite going by foot. My heart is pumping a million times per minute right now, and I'm going insane for every minute I spent running. Please. What happened? I'm very sorry to inform you of this, Miss Sabrina. Your grandmother passed out in the middle of the road. The police officer took her to us a few hours ago. I searched through her phone so I could text you. Thank you for telling me. Is she in a bad condition? I'm sure that you are aware of her stage, uh, stage 2 cancer, but she didn't accumulate any injuries after passing out. Uh, when she's awake, we'll take a couple of tests and you can go home after a couple of days. I see. Thank you very much. I will be heading out now. The nurse left and I rushed to the bedside. Sure, I hated my grandmother, and I still do, but it breaks my heart to see her lying like this. She looks so lifeless, as if the only thing that's missing is a coffin. Yo, somebody call Hoosau, sorry. <laughs> Bad time for a joke. Anyway, holding her hand, tears escape my eyes as I remember the day of the accident. My whole body is trembling, probably because of that day. I haven't gotten over the trauma even now. I was asleep for almost two whole days, and when I woke up, this is how I last saw my parents, lying on a hospital bed, lifeless. I can't talk to them anymore. I will never see them again. Those thoughts kept running through my mind as a six-year-old. I'm more than twice that age now, but I still feel like that tragedy just happened yesterday, and I'm reliving that memory right now. I cannot lose another family member like this. Not again. In the middle of my hectic thoughts, I spot a letter that's lying just as life was sleep as grandma on the side table and I reach for it. To my surprise, it is addressed to me. Wait, I think it's grandma, so hold on. Here is Sabrina, please forgive me. The reason why you're suffering right now is all because of the way I raised you. I did nothing wrong. I mean, oh, sorry, I meant I did wrong. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Stupid. I've read that completely wrong, everybody. <laughs> I was depressed for a very long time because of your mother's death. So I put all the blame on you. But the truth is, you never wanted for them to die that way. None of us did. I'm so sorry, Sabrina. We had nobody but each other. And looking at your petite face that resembled your mother so much kept that tragic memory alive in my mind for years. I'm so sorry, Sabrina. I know that it is too late, and I'm probably going to die soon. But do know that I wanted to change, but it was all too late. I had caused damage beyond repair, and I cannot deny the fact that I was ashamed for how weak I was, as the only guardian you had left. I couldn't stop hurting you, hurting you because it hurt my pride. Okay, I can't read yeah, that voice, everybody. <laughs> too many serious moments, I'm trying to do weird voices. Anyway. Anyway, so, but seeing you like this now, I know that it is all my fault. I shouldn't have done this to my only grandchild. The only lovely memoir I have of my own daughter. Uh, Grandma loves you, Sabrina. I'm not saying all of these because I'm dying and I want to be saved. I'm talking to you now because I want you to know that I blame myself for everything you've experienced. Please stop feeling like you are a failure, all because of what I said. You aren't a failure. You were never a failure to begin with. You were strong as a child, and you're so much stronger now as a teenager. You are stronger than I ever will be. For you, my child, it shall come to pass. I am taken aback by everything I just read, every word piercing through my cold heart like fire arrows slowly melting it through. Tears furiously streamed on my face and I can't hide what I feel forever. This could be my last chance to say things. There's a big chance that grandma won't even hear me saying it. But I have to try. I have to believe that she's still there, listening to every word I say. Alright, so Grandma, I have something to confess too. I'm sorry for being so rude, rude and cruel to you, it's just... I was hurt by everything you said when I was younger. As a child, I didn't understand why the world was so unfair. To be completely honest, I still don't. But this whole experience, I learned one thing. It's not easy losing a daughter, and it's just as hard losing a mother. I lost my mother, and you lost your own daughter. I can't lose another mother again. At least, not now. Things at school are currently uh, really tough. What Tom did is unforgivable. If not for Jared, I have no one. What about Isaac though? <laughs> he had some good advice for me too, despite all the suffering we went through together. However, stubborn me wanted to prove you wrong and I didn't listen. Still, it felt so bad when you told me I wasn't special. Every day, I wish you'd uh, see and acknowledge how good I am, even just once. I'm sorry for seeking so much of your attention, and acting like a child when I didn't get it. I should have understood. Uh, you don't have to change, just don't leave me. Not like this. Not again. Oh, 
Wait, she woke up? To my surprise, Grandma tightens her grip on my hand. At that exact moment, the pain from the past escaped my chest, and I finally lived at the moment. All that mattered was now, this very minute. Let's go home as soon as we can, hmm? Yes, let us go home. Okay, so a few days after that, Grandma got discharged. Of course, she still goes to the hospital for a regular therapy, but she's not lying lifelessly on the hospital bed anymore. That's more than enough for me. It's been a week since that day. The day I never thought would come to our lives. Isaac was right after all. I do care about my grandma, and she cares deeply for me too. My grandma and I uh, never lived this harmoniously before. It's a miracle. Oh, here you go. Did you finish washing the dishes? Yes, grandma. That's good. Don't forget to do your homework, okay? Okay. I just die. <laughs> what is that? And back to the awesome transitions, everybody. <laughs> you win. Yes, 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 yatta. It's been a long time since I've won. Haha, <laughs> in your face. Oh, and another buzz buzz. Oh, what's this? Oh, so it's Isaac, I think, so. Can we meet at the public library this afternoon? I would like for us to study together. It's going to be our major examination soon. I want to do my best. Let me know if you're available. I also have something important to tell you. From Isaac. I wonder what that could be. Sure, let's meet at the public library in an hour. See you there. From Sabrina. Really excited for our meeting. I tossed my phone to the other side of the bed, rushing for the bathroom. Alright, 30 minutes later, I'm on a rush to leave the house. You have somewhere to be? Yeah, I'm going to meet a friend at the public library. I'll be back for dinner. Alright, take care. Give my grandma a hug before leaving. If there's anything I've learned from this experience, nothing is ever too late. Ah, uh, you know, that's true, I guess. Especially in terms of, like, the family issues they had, and finally, kind of resolving it. <laughs> hmm, I still have 20 minutes to spare. I'm sure I'll get to the library in 5 minutes if I run from here, and take the usual path. Or I can go the other way and check out what they have to offer at the other side. I never went to the other path before, so I should have some time to check a few stalls. And look, and look for shops to visit later. It's a great risk though. I'm not sure if I can arrive at the library on time if I get sidetracked. Should I just take the usual path or explore? Uh... I don't know. I think maybe let's take the usual path, because... Hey man. I want to see if anything happens with Isaac, so let's go. I get rid of the ridiculous idea and head straight to the public library. When I get there, Isaac greets me with a lovely smile. <laughs> I'm 15 minutes early, but you got here way before me? I'm not the type of person to make others wait. Speaking of which, thanks for coming. I want to study with you. I really need for you to hear me out later. Taking a seat next to him, I place my bag on the table before giving Isaac 100% of my attention. Isaac shows me a book that he was reading, and we spend the next couple of hours studying for the exam. Oh, with our combined efforts, I can guarantee at least 10 correct answers on my uh, paper for the exam tomorrow. I'll be walking into that room with full confidence, and nothing is going to stop me! <laughs> yeah, boy. In the middle of our study session, Isaac abruptly turns to me with a serious look on his face. Oh, you're scaring me right now, Isaac. What's the matter, bro? Well, I'm sorry, I just... I have two kinds of news for you, and I'm not sure if you'll like what you're about to hear. I will listen and respect whatever you have to say, Isaac. Just be comfortably, like you always do. Okay, I'm just nervous, is all. Here goes. I should say the bad news first, right? Alright. Wait, what is the bad news? Okay, here it goes. My... When Isaac told me that he was nervous, I could tell that there's something seriously wrong. He's not joking about it because he's shaking all over the place. His hands are trembling and so I decided to hold them with my own. You don't have to force yourself. N no you're my friend, so you deserve to know. My father passed away yesterday, and his burial will take place in England. God damn it, man. Too many sad things happening in this visual novel. <laughs> oh, Isaac, I'm so sorry to hear that. Sadness in his eyes cannot be denied, and I sense that Isaac is trying his best to hold back the tears, threatening to fall from the corners of the windows to his soul. As if the situation is all bad enough, I have to return to England and stay there for an indefinite amount of time. As the only son of the family, I have to take over. I need to take care of my mother for the time being. I'm not even sure how she's holding herself all alone out there. My mind is currently all over the place. Sabrina, come in aside. <laughs> uh, no, don't be. I completely understand. You're stronger than you think, Isaac. You're so much stronger than I am. 
I am smiling, but deep inside I feel hurt. Something inside me is asking why things had to be this way. When I finally have the perfect life I can ask for, and for the perfect people to spend it with. Isaac has to go, but for some reason, the selfish me wants him to stay. Sabrina, get a hold of yourself. This person's father just died, and you don't want him to go? I really am a horrible person. Sabrina, please do not be sad. I do not want to leave, but that's only because you are here. If I can only take you with me to England, I would. Isaac. I wept a straight tear that escaped my eye, hoping Isaac didn't notice. Uh, what was that other thing you wanted to tell me? I tried to give him my best smile, hoping to change the topic. If this goes on, I might have a breakdown here. Uh, might be still bad news after all. Wait, what do you mean? What is this bad news? Uh, now that I am about to leave, I only just realized how I truly feel towards you- Oh, Wait, progression. Hang on. For the past few months that we've been together as friends, I can't deny that I fear you'd leave me too. That's when you finally get what you want. You'll disappear like the others. Uh, hearing him say those words tore my heart into pieces. Only now did I realize it for myself as well. I like Isaac, but I never admitted it. I had too much pride to ever admit such feelings. To me, he was just a prize that I could get after a challenge. To validate myself of my worth. But everything else is saying otherwise. I once thought of him as a challenge, a good distraction to keep me from everything that was going on in my life. And when I finally got to him, I thought I could leave after shoving into his face that I got what I wanted. I thought I could leave after making myself feel great for breaking the walls he built, after shouting to the rest of the world that I broke into mighty Isaac's barriers. But it was too late for that. I enjoyed his company and he became a genuine friend. And now, why? You're the first person to truly appreciate me for who I am. Uh, wait, not who you expect me to become. I'm pathetic, aren't I? With a spare body of mine, I don't think I can even protect you from anybody that wants to bring you harm. Hey, don't you dare say that, bro. <laughs> uh, call me crazy, I know, but I always wanted to see that smile. And it's been this way since the first time you walked to me. You're the first person who didn't give up on me either, even when I showed no interest in being saved from the hell I built for myself. And now I'm saying all of this when I'm about to leave you. I'm so sorry, Sabrina. I want to let you know that I like you a lot. More than I care to explain. I... I look at you, Isaac. You're an amazing person. Never expected to find a deep soul inside that bland exterior. <laughs> That's what I want to say, but why can't I get the words out? Oh, you're alright. Tightening my grip on his right hand, I nod. By now, tears were streaming down my face, and I can't even distinguish them. Were they sad tears? Were they happy tears? I don't know. But one thing is for sure. I love this man. Look, you don't have to answer me now. I want you to think about it thoroughly, and whatever decision you may be, I will respect that. I may have to leave, but I promise to come back as soon as things have become stable. Next time, I'll come home with my mother, and I'll introduce you to her. With all of your similarities, I'm sure that you will get along. Please do not cry for me, Sabrina. I am not worthy of your tears. Isaac reaches for my face with his free hand, wiping away the tears that were streaming down my face. I return his kindness with a smile, making up my mind. No more crying today. I have to make sure that we'll be the happiest, or we'll make the happiest of memories before he leaves, in case I don't see him in a long time. No, I shouldn't think about that. He promised to come back. I'm sure he will fulfill his promise. It's getting late. May I walk you home? Please do. And with that, we leave the library together. Isaac kept me company, and then, yeah. Wait, on top of that, he never let go of my hand. <laughs> nice. So I'll make the most of the time we have left. I promise. On my left nut. <laughs> um, it's been a month since Isaac's confession at the public library, and things have never been the same. I believe it is safe to say that Grandma and I are fully reconciled, but the worst is starting to happen. My grandmother's cancer is still at stage 2, but no signs of improvement, and I'm extremely worried about it. If this happened a month ago, I probably wouldn't have cared. But ever since that day, her gesture made me rethink my views, as well as her sincere apology. In that moment, I was reassured about how much she loves me. However, the last month in school has been complete chaos. Thankfully, no rumors about me have circulated yet, but I've been a complete mess myself. Today is the last day of my bet with Supercool999. I have no idea who that maniac is. <laughs> um, alright. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So Isaac took the exams right after we studied, and it made sense to me why he wanted a session. Wait, when the test is still a month away. It's already been a week since he left for England, and I haven't heard a single word from him yet. Except for a small text message saying that he arrived safely. I miss him so much, and I want to be, his, be in his side right now, yeah. <laughs>
Um, let's see. Wait, if not for Jared, I would have transformed into a complete wounder like Isaac. Because I refused to talk to anybody else after he left. Okay, so... For a whole month, I was only able to get 5 bonus points from my teachers for the major examination. Since then, every day has become a struggle. But today is the day I once wished would never come. Wait, what happened? Uh-oh. Oh, okay, I, just, I think it's just exams. Wow! Ready for the major examinations? You know what? I think I'll leave it here. So, you know what? I think, uh... Now, look. Oh. Like I said, so I think uh, maybe the reason I didn't like it the first time was just because of the super serious topics. Like, you know, grandma having cancer and everything, and then just the unstable relationship between the two. So, yeah. And I will admit, though, like, the story and everything, it still has me intrigued, because now I really want to find out, like, how everything is going to end. So, I will say, though, I am glad that they did reconcile, because I could sense that, like, the grandma was definitely just, like, holding a grudge against Sabrina, because she personally thought that that was the whole cause of her own uh, mother's death. So, yeah. But also, like, uh, the story is good as well. I'm surprised we didn't see, like... <laughs> um, I think it was Mike, actually. I think he was the only one we didn't see. <laughs> Which, uh, quite frankly, I think I wanted to stay that way. <laughs> but, yeah, like... And then, um, also the little side story of <laughs> Sabrina, like, fighting this dude on the internet. I kind of like it. It's pretty hilarious. So, like, um, there's still some cheerful things, and I'm glad there is. But you know what, I think the serious topics also kind of still tie in as well. I'm not sure what else to say, but all in all, I think the story has gone a little better. And I know I was kind of like, <laughs> I was kind of like, oh my god, the story's so confusing. I don't think I want to play this ever again. <laughs> but you know what, I'm glad I decided to give it a second chance. Then, uh, you know, I think it would be nice to just like go to the ending and see how everything goes. But yeah, with that said, I hope you all enjoyed. If you would like me to play more of this game, Please let me know in the comments below. I know nobody commented on the last video, but I was like, let's give it at least one more chance, you know, because things could get better. And it seems like they did so far. So yeah. So in the top right corner of your screen, there will be an annotation to the next part once it becomes available. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.